what should you expect on your first BFR, your flight review? Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com. It's a question we get asked often. Hey Jason, is a flight review like a check ride? How do I prepare for this? What should I really expect on my flight review? Well, a flight review is not like a check ride. So don't go into it thinking that. Honestly, the best way to go about a flight review is go with a flight instructor you've flown with before. So it's more like flying with an old friend again and or building a relationship again with a potential new CFI. You see, a flight review is an hour ground and an hour of flight. And it really can be tailored to you. When I work with a student, I like to ask them, hey, when's the last time you flew? What's the last thing you did? What's your primary mission in aviation? Where do you mostly go? Hey, it's a trip to visit the grandkids here. Man, we'd like to go to lunch here. That, this is my primary flight. Here's my reason for learning to fly in the first place. And then I'll tailor something around them that way. What I don't like to see is a student who comes and says, hey, when was your last flight? Oh, it was 24 months ago, Jason, when you did my last flight review. Not the kind of person I want to be signing off doing flight reviews for. I want someone who's not just current, but proficient. We know there's such a difference between the two. So when I go up for a flight review, we normally, when we do the ground, it's again like two friends just having a conversation. We just chat about local airspace. Really, I like to share the things that have changed. Did you know we got rid of area forecasts, flight watch? Do you know we're switching to IKO flight plans? Just kind of keep them up to date on all these things that change in the industry that they may not be aware of. And really, it's a teaching opportunity. It's less just quiz, question, and answer like a check ride. It's more an opportunity for the CFI to share some wisdom with you and learn more about yourself as well and ask some questions in between. It's not necessarily a pass-fail, man, you miss this many questions. Obviously, the CFI has that right to make that decision, but we're working with that individual to make that happen. And the flight is a, it's a simple flight, typically. I have a very basic sequence that I follow, steep turns, slow flight, stalls that I'll kind of work them all through and just gauge how competent they are in those maneuvers. You can tell someone who the last time they did a stall was 24 calendar months ago when they flew with you last and then the person who goes out and says, hey, I'm going to commit to this training plan of once a quarter, once a, you know, every six months, I'm going to go out and fly Jason's steep turn slow flight stall sequence. I'm going to practice power off 180 landings. I'm going to practice no flap landing, slips to landing. These types of items that we work through on a very basic BFR. So some of the clips you're seeing now are flying with one of my good friends, Steve. Well, I've known Steve for many, many years. In fact, Steve and I even shared the same private pilot instructor. So Steve and I really go way back and have known each other a very long time. It's a very rewarding to, uh, to kind of now do his flight reviews as he's an aircraft owner and he and his wife just fly mostly for pleasure. Uh, he umpires baseball games, so he'll use it a little bit in business like that as well. So it's fun to take someone who just primarily does cross countries but still finds time to go out and stay proficient. And that's what we're really after. Don't go into a BFR with the mindset of, geez, this is, this is pass-fail, this could be make or break, they're going to quiz me and all this stuff, I need to study up and know all this. Absolutely, you need to study up on your local charts, on what's changed, on areas you feel you're going to be deficient in. Now, you see, a BFR is not necessarily a pass-fail type thing because you may come to me and I say, listen, we really just didn't get it today. I'm not comfortable signing you off. That's not necessarily a failure. What that's saying is, I want to see you again tomorrow. Or we just need to nail these few things down and make sure you're really good there, and then I'll sign you off. I've had BFRs that have last weeks. Remember back to the movie, Flying Again. Bill Clayton hadn't flown for 30 years. All he legally needed was what? A flight review. Do you think that flight review was an hour ground, an hour flight? Well, you see an 83-minute movie about it. I can tell you, it took Bill almost two weeks of flying every single day for us to really get that down and for me to feel comfortable enough to sign his logbook. These things take time. So maybe you're a rusty pilot. Don't, don't get discouraged if the CFI tells you this could take a week to actually do of solid flying. It's not going to be the basic hour ground 
our flight. So look into it that way. And again, if you are a rusty pilot, I encourage you to check out our movie, Flying Again. Links right down there so you can check it out also underneath this video. If you fall in that rusty pilot category, let it be some motivation, some inspiration, some education to get you back in the cockpit. A flight review is nothing to be nervous about. It's an opportunity to learn. And as pilots, we should embrace every opportunity we have to learn something from maybe a familiar face flight instructor or a new flight instructor as well. So what have your experiences been like on your most recent flight reviews? Leave me a comment in the comment box below this video on Facebook, YouTube, M0A.com. You know you'll get a response from myself or a great member of our team here at M0A.com. Enjoy the rest of your day and most importantly, remember, and a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Pass your check ride or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.